comic strip Tales of the Eagle Force. Stories you can act up with die-cast metal Eagle Force action figures, each sold separately. There's Captain Eagle and Talon. You can pretend KO is a judo fighter. Turk, a strongman, and Sergeant Brown, a demolitions expert. Boom! And this is the enemy, General Mamba. Destroy the Eagle Force. Head of Riot, plus Baron Von Chill, Beta Man, and Shock Trooper, each sold separately. Captain Eagle, KO, Turk, and all Eagle Force figures, each sold separately by Nego. review will be on the Fresh Monkey Fiction and Zika Toys, Riot vs. Eagle Force. And this is for Ultima Thule, Riot Leader. In medieval literature, Ultima Thule translates to the farthermost Thule, which can quite literally mean any distant place located beyond the borders of the known world. So who knows where this guy is from. Now, back in the 80s, Riot was actually led by a different character altogether, General Mamba. And fun fact, General Mamba was actually based on a real-life person. The 1971 to 1979 president of Uganda, Idi Amin. And when you look at his card art and compare it to a photo, you can definitely see a likeness. But you might also notice a bit of a difference, too. And that's because the character originally started out as a black character, but at the last minute before it hit toy shelves, the figure was changed to a different color. Now looking at this figure here, he looks like Red Hood, and that's all right by me because I'm a huge fan of Red Hood. Now looking at the figure two, you might notice that it's just a Larry Hama figure repainted with a new head, and that's all right because that's an awesome outfit. Looking at the back of the card, and this figure is like all the others in the line, 100% collector friendly. You just slide this card out, pull the figure out of the bubble, play the figure all you want, put it back in the bubble, and then slide this card back in, and you've still got a mint on card figure. Up here, it's all the same, and then down here, it's got a roll call for Series 2. Which includes General Brown, Eagle Force Commander, Take Down Urban Operations Officer, Take Down Thunder Unit, Urban Operations Specialist, and Santini, Acrobat. In the hell does he think I am, an acrobat? Below them, we have Ultima Thule, Riot Leader, Zapper, Communications and Technology, Riot Stealth Pilot, Aerial Operations Specialist, and Riot Commando, Advanced Infantry Operative. Looking at his bio, it reads, This current iteration of Ultima Thule emerged in the late 20th century. A mysterious red mask covered mercenary who was rumored to be behind several high-profile assassinations in the Middle East and throughout Western Europe. Throughout intelligence circles, it is suspected that Thule was connected with a billion-dollar security company, leveraging those assets in his quest to lead Riot into 21st century domination, but this is yet to be proven. Looking at his picture there, it's really cool because the way that shadow is cast on his nose, it almost looks like he's got a skull face. Down below that, it says, Ultima Thule, Riot Leader, and there's a quote from Captain Eagle that reads, Ultima Thule is a cipher. Every time we think we have a lead on him, we end up down a back alley dead end. He's sinister, highly intelligent, and one of the most motivated enemies the world has ever seen. Not the best combination. And I know it's not the same, but every time I read Ultima Thule, all I hear is Josh Brolin's voice in my head as he says the line from No Country for Old Men. Where's the last guy? Ultima Hombre, last man standing. There must have been one. And I'd say that quote sums up Ultima Thule perfectly. So I say we waste no more time and I say we open him! So here's Ultima Thule fresh out of the package. And I don't know about you, but I'm definitely getting a Bane vibe from the stock exchange scene from Dark Knight Rises. And what a helmet that is. I absolutely love it. Now, if you look at the card art... All the lines on the helmet, including the eyes, are painted black. And although the silver eyes on the figure itself do look really cool and reflective, I kind of wish they'd have went with the black to match the drawing, but then again, I like them both, so I don't know. But if you do look at this head the wrong way, it does kind of look like a red, evil, vampire smiley face. Down here, he's got a red and black jacket, and that looks awesome indeed. That's the kind of coat you can find hanging in my closet. And if you look at his neck there and his wrists, you can kind of see the man underneath the costume, and that is pretty cool. Now, like I said, this is just a Larry Hama figure all painted up with a new head. He's got a red holster there on his leg, knee pads, and his boots. Looking at the back of the figure, and you might mistake an Ultima Thule for Judge Dredd. Down here, he's got his leather coat. I wish he had a big riot symbol right there, but that's okay. He's kind of got one on his sleeve here in a second. You can see the ribbing of his jacket there, the red holster yet again. 
And yeah, this figure looks awesome. Looking at the figure from the side, and I absolutely love that helmet. It almost has like an evil Dr. Fate kind of shape to it, and that is awesome. Working our way down his sleeve, and you can see the Riot logo right there. And like I said, I wish that was on his back really big, but oh well, at least it's on the figure somewhere. Down here, he's got some red and black gloves. And man, this is my favorite color scheme in the world. This is awesome. Now, unlike other Eagle Force figures, there's nothing really to take off on this figure. No vest or anything like that. I mean, you could take off the jacket part right here, but he'd still have the sleeves on, so that's kind of silly. But yeah, what you see is what you get with this figure. Just like all the other Eagle Force figures, all of his accessories come in a little plastic bag, so let's see what he includes. Again, just like all the other figures, he includes eight extra hands, and we've seen them all before. These grab a hands, these weapon holding hands, these weapon holding hands, which look just like these weapon holding hands, and some fists. And yet again, they do not match his gloved hands. So yeah, if you swap out one hand, he's going to have one mismatched hand. His last accessory is by far the coolest gun I've seen in this Eagle Force line. This thing has a Cobra Commander kind of vibe to it, and man, it looks awesome. And that gun fits very snugly in the holster on his right thigh. You can even see the barrel of the gun poking out there at the bottom. So, how does Ultima Thule look standing alongside its other cohorts in crime? Well, I only have four Riot bad guys so far, but man, they all look so good together. And they were doing good by themselves. But just like Firefly said in G.I. Joe Retaliation. All we've been missing is our command. So, there's my review of the Fresh Monkey Fiction and Zika Toys Riot vs. Eagle Force Ultima <gasps> Fool! And man, this figure is awesome. And this was a character that I wanted to figure out from the very beginning, but he was sold out and I had to wait till he came back in stock. And man, he does not disappoint. And you know what? Every good leader needs some troopers. And I just happen to have one to review. Maybe I'll do that next. So, until next time, tune in for more! Can Captain Eagle fight off General Mamba? It's up to you. When you're in command of the Eagle Force. Foo! Reviews! <laughs> hey, this is Nolan North. You don't want to miss Foo Reviews.